Don't forget to like, follow, subscribe, and turn on notifications so that you will receive alerts when there are new episodes. Go get it. You're in the right place. You checking out? Chip Baker, the success chronicle. Conquer all my goals, then I'm living out my dream. Dig deep, go out and get it. Success chronicles. Can't compete until it's finished. Success chronicles. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Chip Baker coming to you with another episode of the Success Chronicles. And today we have Miss Nicoletta Weinstock with us, and she is coming to us from Spain. Uh, she is a great lady. She's a personal branding, currently a personal branding expert, uh, and been involved in lots. Um, you know, big time athlete, handball, you know, uh, represented snowboarding, uh, modeling. Uh, done lots of pretty cool things, and so uh, truly thankful to have her on this episode of the Success Chronicle. So thank you. I'm happy to be with you today. <laughs> all right, all right. Well, talk to us about. I know I mentioned a little bit about your your life and some of the things you're involved in, but if you don't mind, uh, talk to us about your life story. You know, kind of track it. You know, from growing up and tell us about it, and then up until now, if you don't mind. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, yeah, I started very early with my modeling career. I never wanted to be a model. It was really out of my mind. I thought I will become an actor and um, maybe I'm a fashion designer or something like that, but never modeling. And, um, yes, I, I, I love sport. I did sports since I'm thinking. I started skiing when I was tw two and a half, and then I started um, handball with 10 years old, and I was always very forced to be the best. And uh, for me, it was the worst thing in life. It was to be second <laughs> or third. Yeah. And I was very focused on that. So I, I, uh, I was playing for the national team in handball. I was play, uh, also snowboarding for, for the German team. And in that time, so, we had a lot so of wanderings. A, so you were on a national team for handball? Yes. Okay, and then for snowboarding, you were on which team? Also for Germany. For Germany as well. That's yeah. awesome. <laughs> yeah, and then um, my life changed. Um, I, I, before I, I started modeling, because I, I had the sponsorships in my, um, in my sports career, and then one day I had a bad accident with a snowboard. And so I had to stop from one day to another to do my sports anymore. Um, I was like, yeah, handicapped for two days. I hadn't any f feeling in my legs anymore. Mm. And um, this was from no risk, no fun to, oh, I'm so happy to be able to walk. And um, that was our, yeah, a kind of switch in my life. Um, so I had to stop sports for five years. And I, really, I, I, I focused on what can I do now? I had really, very, very good contacts in modeling. And the thing is, I thought, if I'm 25 or 30, the career is over, what I'm doing after. And so I start to do a hairdressing job. And I learned to be a hair and makeup artist so I, that I'm able to go over the time <laughs> to have another, in a, in, in another possibility. And um, I was very, also very successful in this. I was traveling the world until I was 27. I, sometimes I woke up and I didn't know in which country I am. Oh. Because, uh, <laughs> you know, you do this photo shootings and you don't know the time zone anymore. You don't know what language should I speak if I go to breakfast. It was fun time, but after the years, and I, I, I had my first son, um, yeah, I was really 
yeah, kind of exhausted traveling so much. And um, after my second son, I really stopped this. Uh, I really stopped and canceled every hair and makeup jobs, all the actor, actor jobs I did, all the um, modeling jobs I did. And then I had to find myself and that was kind of hard for me. And so I really start, I, you know, you are mother and um, now I'm mother of four. I have oh, wow. three boys and one baby girl now. And it's kind of hard. Um, you are not able to travel and, you know, you're not able to do that, what you really love. And so I start, what can I do? Okay, I start with a, like a cosmetic institute, a cosmetic saloon. And then I had to open this door every day. I was changing time into money. That was horrible for me. And uh, after a year, I stopped this. And so I really carried on. Like I, I, I started to be a real estate agent. And it was, yeah, like for me, it was never my heart thing. And um, after doing this for six years, I, um, I really saw, I, from one ten, day to another, I saw advertising in uh, Facebook. Mm -hmm. And it says, if you want to uh, change your life, um, you can earn a lot of money by selling um, success or business coachings. And what I did, I, I directly contact this person and I said, okay, what's about? I, I want to know. And I started to do the business coachings of my my husband now. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes, it was funny. It was really fun because I sold his prob, uh, programs before I ever met him. He, I, and at that time, I was living in Germany and he was living in Spain, in Mallorca, a small island, but very nice. And yeah, I was very successful in doing what I did. And she said, okay, come over, I have a seminar. You can join it for free. And then I was sitting in that seminar and he was qu questioning the things. Of, what is your plan in life? What do you really want? <laughs> and I sat there and said, oh, I don't want that what I do now. Yeah. Because I was still in this. Uh, I was still in these uh, real estate things and the, and the start selling of the programs was a side job, yeah, but not something I, I really focus, focused on. And it was really funny because I made this, this, this decision in this um, seminar that I want to stop it now. I really want to do something I love. And in that moment, I came home it was really horrible what you do something to yourself if you make a decision in the first moment. Because I came home and I had one big client and he was paying me like 3,500 euro. It's about $4,000, I think, um, mm -hmm. a month um, because of a big project we had. And I came home and two days later I got a call. It stopped. We are bankrupt. We can't pay you anymore. <laughs> and it was really crazy for me because I I had nothing from mm -hmm. one day to another. I made the decision. I had nothing. <laughs> I had my four, uh, my three boys at that moment. I had no relationship, and I had to do something now. <laughs> right. And um, it was yeah, uh, <laughs> it was really crazy. And um, after that. Um, I, I, I flew back to Mallorca, I met Daniel again, and so yeah, at that time we fall in love. <laughs> and um, the, my, my whole life changed, my entire life changed. It was um, kind of hard because my, the fathers of my sons are in Germany, and so I have to make a decision. And uh, it was very hard to really cancel everything in Munich and go to Mallorca, but it was my, the best decision I ever made in my life. And after that, I really started um, first selling the programs for him. Then we saw the, my passion is marketing. So I start with online marketing. And what I did, you know, you in the U.S., you are so great with marketing and all what, yeah, and all what we have in Germany or in Europe is like one or two years 
already done in US. Um, and there are a lot of marketing strategies you are not able to really copy for Europe. And um, I was struggling in the beginning really to market my husband's programs or to or, or even to make him as a brand for Europe. And um, what I did, I did a lot of learning. I made a lot of e e courses and yeah, it was a bit always up and down and up and down. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but then I really got it. And and then I, um, after, yeah, I think after a year, um, I really got the clue how to market him really well. And now he's one of the best European success speakers and trainers. And it's my part I did for it. I'm very proud of it. And I really felt in love with um, finding the right niche, finding the right um, online marketing strategy. And that's why I started like, yeah, three months ago, my own programs and to promote my own, yeah, my own coaching. And I really love what I do. <laughs> that's awesome. So now you're doing uh, coaching as well, helping with marketing, with coaching. Yeah. Good deal. Well, that's, that's an awesome story. I think it's, you know, a lot of things you touched on as far as you have to go through some things to find yourself. Yeah. You know, yeah, and, and hard times sometimes. But um, a friend of mine said to me, you should coach people about getting up again. And yeah. I think that's the really thing yeah. I can tell that, yeah, no, um, just be focused on what you want. And even if you crash a company, to get up again and do it i think that's i think my own yeah my own power is out of this that i i never lost my way or got back to be employed or something yeah yeah you were knocked down a few times but you just kept getting up huh <laughs> yes <laughs> that's it what are what are three things you've accomplished in your life that you're proud of First of all, I'm a mother. I'm proud of my four kids. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, I'm proud also to make my way like I did. I, I moved out of my parents' house when I was 16 and um, I had some tough times, but I'm proud that I always made it. And um, yeah, the last thing I, I'm proud of is now really to help people to get clients and to help them to have the success they always wanted. For me, it's really my big goal now. It's really, I have a very big goal. I want to um, help in my life a million people to get a better life. And um, so this is really, I'm proud that I found my way now and that I'm really able to help people now. That's awesome. And it's no better feeling than that when you put the work in to do some things and you've gone through some things and then now you can use your experiences to help others. It's so fulfilling. Yeah. That's the best you can, you can have, you know, if yeah. you have clients, they say, Oh, you my, my God, I got my first client or I got more clients and now I'm able to f um, fly my family first time to holidays. And that's amazing. Yeah. It's good stuff. It's good stuff. What's your definition yeah. of success? Success, um, yeah, I think um, success is put all in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's my de definition of, of success. You, uh, for me, you can't be successful if you are not focused and put really all of you into work. So all of, everything else is dreaming, I think. So it's not something coming to your life like nothing. <laughs> yeah, so you got to be all in, huh? Yeah. Yeah. What do you think it takes to achieve success? For me, it takes to achieve, uh, achieve success that you are focusing on what you really want every day. So I write down my goals really two times, three times a day. Mm. And I keep, um, I keep also my focus in things, what I know that creating income. 
So the first thing I have to do in my in my every work day is um, I focus on the three four tie uh, four points on my agenda what I have to do to create income, and I think that's also the big problem now that we are not focused because we are having so much things coming in emails, Insta, uh, Facebook, whatever you know, and you're wasting so much time. Um, and so what I do is I really keep everything out um, and I do one point I have to do until I finish it. Mm. And then I'm able to do something else. And I think that's the thing what the most people don't. So they try to do 10 things in one time and they never end one point. And so that's for me the thing to be su successful. I like it. So, so laser focus and focus in on one thing at a time. That way, I think, I think when you do that, you, you get quality results because you're putting in quality. Yeah. And the other thing of um, success is, of course, your mindset. So if you have um, like, yeah, a lot of things in your subconscious mind who are holding you back, um, you will never succeed because you have, um, I don't know how it is in the U.S., but in, in Germany, you, you have your teachers and you have um, your parents and it's a lot of parodying you have and that money don't make you happy and things like that. And you have really to work on that because if you, you, don't, if you are not positive to your goals inside of you in your subconscious mind, you will never succeed. So that's the main point on what my husband focused. He created a, um, a neuro training for the subconscious mind to really um, have a positive and successful mind for your goals. And that is the base, I think, for every success. Because if you, you, know, if you call a client and inside something tells you, no, it's not good if you are rich. <laughs> no, it's not good if you get money. <laughs> then it will not work, never. Right. It's awesome stuff. Well, <laughs> thanks so much for taking the time to uh, interview with the Chronicles again. Um, really, really good nuggets that I think we can all learn from. So thanks for sharing your story. <laughs> thank you for being here. <laughs> all right. What well, a thank pleasure. You. All righty. Well, thank you guys for watching this episode. We'll see you next time. God bless. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> Go get it.